हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड कंपैरिजन बिटवीन एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन टू कंपेयर बिटवीन एम्पलीट्यूड एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन लेट अस कंसीडर डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज द अल्टरिंग पैरामीटर ऑफ द कैरियर सिग्नल इन एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन the amplitude of the carrier signal is varied whereas in frequency modulation the frequency of the carrier signal will be varied the constant parameters of carrier so frequency and phase of the carrier signal is kept constant by varying amplitude of the carrier signal in case of amplitude modulation in frequency modulation the amplitude and phase is kept constant but frequency of the carrier signal is varied the modulation index in case of uh, amplitude modulation we can write it as mu is equal to ka into am so this value should be less than 1 in frequency modulation the modulation index can be given as beta that is written as delta f maximum divided by fm so for narrow band fm we should have beta less than 1 and for wide band fm the beta should be greater than 1 next is the transmitted power the transmitted power of am signal is given as pt is equal to pc into 1 plus mu square divided by 2 so in case of frequency modulation the transmitted power can be given as pt is equal to ac square divided by 2 r the maximum power efficiency of amplitude modulation is 33% and the maximum power efficiency in case of fm is 100% in am we are having 33% because one side band power and the carrier power are wasted here so in fm signal all the transmitted power will be utilized thus why the efficiency is 100% the bandwidth of am signal can be given as 2 fm in case of am signal the bandwidth is independent of modulation index in frequency modulation the bandwidth can be given as 2 fm in case of narrow band fm and bandwidth can be given as 2 fm plus 2 delta f maximum in case of wide band frequency modulation so in fm the bandwidth depends on modulation index in case of wide band fm the range of communication in case of amplitude modulation it covers large area for example it is the radio and in case of fm modulation it covers limited area for example fm channels so here we have written radio which means it is wireless communication radio communication or wireless communication for larger area so here the fm transmission from the transmitting station where we are having fm channels complexity in case of amplitude modulation it is less complex compared to frequency modulation so frequency modulation is more complex compared to amplitude modulation the cost in case of amplitude modulation it is less expensive compared to frequency modulation here frequency modulation will be more expensive noise immunity amplitude modulation is affected by noise frequency modulation is more immune to noise compared to amplitude modulation so types of uh, amplitude modulation is dsbsc and ssbsc double side band suppressed carrier signal and single side band suppressed carrier signal these two are the types of amplitude modulation coming to frequency modulation we are having two types which is narrow band fm and wide band fm so application of amplitude modulation is that it can be used for long distance communication example is radio and in case of frequency modulation it is used for short distance communication for example it is fm stations this is about comparison between amplitude modulation and frequency modulation hope you have understood the topic thank you